Hey everybody, my name is Melissa and it is January 4th, 2021. We made it through 2020. Woo! So happy new year. Um, it is the first Monday of 2021 and I just wanted to do a quick as possible recording to let you know how I am doing with my goals so far. So last week I talked about getting a head start with um, whatever goals that you have for your <laughs> for, for the new year if you set any goals. I like to call them goals rather than resolutions because goals uh, tend to be um, a better word just because resolutions kind of have lost their uh, resolutions. The word resolutions has lost them. Um, yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. The word resolutions has lost its power because of how people tend to go back on them. So um, real quick, uh, that weird face that I made was because we are currently fostering this little kitty. Um, short version of this story is basically uh, one of our neighbors um, outside of their house, this cat was like super meowing and it's gotten really, really cold around here. So um, my sister, excuse me, classy, right? Uh, my sister went over to ask and see, since this was not the first night that we've heard it meowing outside, my sister went over to ask and see if we could, um, if they weren't, if it wasn't their cat, if we could take it and kind of take care of it and see if we can't find it at home. So uh, yeah, so that's what's up. So anyway, um, she'll probably attack me again. She's super affectionate, very playful, and she's just so sweet and she purrs and she's adorable. So right now um, we are calling her Charlie Bean. My sister is a big fan of the game Don't Starve, and so Charlie comes from that game, and Bean, just because it's cute, and um, she was originally going to call her uh, Beans, but then she thought about calling her Charlie because she likes Don't Starve and has named two of the other cats after Don't Starve characters, so yeah. So anyway, so that now we're just kind of calling her Charlie Bean just because it's super cute, and we kind of love her. I kind of love her, but we don't need a fourth cat. So yeah, anyway, so to, to move on with the point of the video and trying to make it a quick one, um, we are, we have yet to download the software to do video editing. So this is just going to be another free speaking video. Um, hopefully we'll have that downloaded and I'll learn a little bit more about it so that I can piece together a better video for you, I hope. So, um, hopefully soon, because I've done a lot of recording. I've got a lot of material that I would love to uh, string together and create a nice coherent um, video with different shots of me talking about the things that I want to talk about, um, talking about stuff while I'm at the gym, um, showing some of my workouts, uh, showing me cooking some stuff, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to take a drink really quick. which leads me into the goal that I set last week. The goal that I set last week was to drink two of these 24 ounce containers of water every single day. So a total of 40 oun 48 ounces of water. And um, I did really well last week. I drank at least two of them every day, except for yesterday, which was Sunday. I only got one in yesterday. Uh, it was kind of a lazy day and, um, well, kind of kind of a la lazy day. We did some chores around the house. Um, I didn't go work out, but I did drink some coffee and I have a tendency to drink coffee every day. So I kind of just made that last and then um, got back into my water afterwards. And um, by the time it was, by the time I was actually drinking my water, it was actually in the evening. So I only really had time to get one down without having to go pee all night long. So again, um, that was my goal for last week. I did pretty well. This week I am going to continue doing that. I'm going to continue to drink at least two of these every day. Um, and some people might talk about how the recommendation for drinking water is half your body weight in ounces of water. So with last week, um, me weighing in at 227.4 pounds, it would be approximately 113 to 114 ounces of water that I need to drink every day. But um, speaking from personal experience and having done that before, if you want to go gung-ho and drink that much water, when you're not used to drinking it, you can go right ahead, but I will warn you, you will pee all day long. So I highly recommend against doing that and just kind of easing your way into it. So um, also last week, I was trying to be more mindful of my food choices. I didn't do great. It was um, 
going from one one holiday and kind of leading into the next holiday in between Christmas and um, New Year's. And so there were a lot of goodies at my disposal and I didn't hold myself back, but I did um, keep myself as under control as kind of possible because I know that truth be told, I could have done better. However, I know that I could have done a lot worse. I actually reined it in quite a bit. So that was me last week trying to be more mindful about my food choices. Um, I know that I did let loose on New Year's Eve. I got together with a couple of my friends and my sister and we played some video games, watched a movie. Um, we played some tabletop games as well. And um, we, I ate a lot of food. I ate a lot of food and it was delicious. I enjoyed all of it. And, but I did kind of rein in afterwards again so that I can not be uh, overeating too much. Um, which again, sounds kind of crummy because on the one hand, yes, you can control your actions and everything. But um, as I said, I think I said in the last video that I recorded, I am about trying to get back into my good habits, ease myself back into those good habits because it took me a while to get into those habits in the first place. And it took me time to get out of those habits as well. So I am trying to get myself back into them. So again, last week I weighed in on Monday, uh, December 28th of 2020. I weighed in at 227.4 pounds in, um, uh, with the intention and sharing that on a video with the intention of uh, giving myself a head start to get into the goals that I have for 2021. My goal is to be down to 175 pounds by the end of the year. So I wanted to give myself a week head start and um, that's what I did. And I uh, figured up the total amount of pounds that I would need to lose or rather work off because I feel like if you use the word lose, it sounds like you're going to find them again. We don't want to do that. So um, um, the, the amount of pounds that I would need to work off in order to get to this goal would be from that from that total would be 52.4. And it was kind of a perfect number because um, giving myself that bonus week, I have 53 pounds to lose or 53 pounds. I'm so sorry, 53 weeks to lose uh, just over 52 pounds. So it's a little less than a pound every single week that I need to lose. And I weighed in this morning at 225.6. So I worked off 1.8 pounds. So I am on track right now. Um, and I want to continue to be on track. Uh, it is more than just on track, but I just want to know that I'm sticking with it and continuing to implement the good and healthy habits, um, kind of get used to those again and so that they can be real life habits instead of just, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of flighty at the beginning of the year. So that is how I did as far as weight. Um, I am, also working out quite a bit. Some things that I wanted to share with you today are um, my workout journal. I have, um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I just got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar and um, it has a little rainbow on it. I thought it was really pretty. Also, I ended up having, uh, I ended up sticking this on there. This is Storm. She's one of the X-Men and she's one of my favorites. She's really cool. She seems very strong and wise and very brave. And those are things that I um, aspire to be. I don't think I'll ever be able to control the weather, but I really like her. She's cool. So anyway, um, that is, yeah. So, um, I had to pause the video, uh, but yeah. So anyway, uh, this is again, my workout journal. So I've been using this workout journal since, um, July 8th of last year, 2020. And the reason why I started to use it is because um, the workouts that I was doing prior to that, I had been putting in my planner, my agenda, and I uh, just lost something out of it. Um, I started running out of room to put things in there as well as the other stuff that I was doing. So um, I went ahead and started this workout journal. Um, and the, the cool part about it is that I, did, I had decided to start this workout journal on July 8th, which was exactly um, two years since I actually got serious about my health. I started my health, my uh, seriousness health the journey on July 8th of 2018. So it was kind of an awesome day to be able to start my journal. So anyway, moment. All right. 
Um, so the thing that fell out of my workout journal is actually what I'm getting ready to show you next. So one of the goals that I have for the entire year is to um, get a Cora body. So any of you who might know this, this is uh, Cora. She is a waterbender and she is obviously from an animated TV show, um, an animated series. The first animated series was actually about um, a guy by the name of Aang, a young man, a young boy. And uh, he is, uh, the series is called Avatar The Last Airbender. It is probably the best animated series, in my opinion. I really love it. <clears throat> my favorite character is actually Uncle Iroh. So, um, of like, he's my favorite out of like all of them, possibly my favorite um, fictional character of all time, possibly. And uh, he's awesome. And anyway, so um, Aang, the airbending avatar of this particular series, his successor is Korra. And she is probably the worst avatar ever. However, she's got a really kicking body. Um, a banging body, if you will, and I want to have a body like her, so I am aiming to do this. I know that it's going to take a lot of time and work, and I am okay with that, and um, I know I can do it. Again, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some work, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work really hard and get that body. So anyway, that is that, and so anyway, if I'm going to go ahead and slip this out, um, it shows you what I've done in the last week or so. Um, the thing that I've been wanting to do with my workouts is uh, there's what I'd like to do and what I actually have time for. So what I'm going to do right now is focus on what I had time for. I need to do for myself what I've picked is to do um, six days of working out total. I'd like to stretch every day. If I don't get that done, I'm happy with just doing it at least twice a week so that I can keep myself relatively limber. Um, I do a good probably 20 to 45 minutes of stretching, depending on how much time I have, how good the stretching is, and how fast it takes me to get through my stretching routine. Um, and then I also want to do cardio and I want to do some weight stuff. So I figured, in a nutshell, I figured that right now with the time that I've allotted myself um, in the morning before work, I can get uh, basically one of, one of the two things done in that time frame. Um, man, I'm butchering it. So yeah, we're gonna roll with it and uh, just kind of go from there. So get a little awkward. Um, I know I'm fine. I just need to take a moment to uh, gather my thoughts and uh, hopefully make this work. Really? You gonna say anything else? No? Okay. She was talking while I had the video paused. So anyway, um, yes, so that was what I was going to get down to. So thank you for bearing with me while I kind of gathered my thoughts there. I know it was a split second for you. It was a few seconds for me. I want to do six days of working out, stretching at least two of those days, but um, alternating between doing cardio exercise and doing weight exercises. So I want to do basically... For example, on Monday, I could do core exercises. On Tuesday, I would do cardio. On Wednesday, I would do arm day. On Thursday, I would do cardio. On Friday, I would do leg day. And then on Saturday, I do cardio and then take Sunday as a rest day. And that's an example. Uh, but basically, I wanna do at least three days of cardio, three days of weight. And um, within those three days, a core day, an arm day, and a leg day. It doesn't matter which days they're on. They could be two weight days back to back. They could be two cardio days back to back as long as I get it all in. So this last week, um, you can see here where I started at 227.4 on last Monday, which is the 28th of December of 2020. And I did cardio. I did 20 minutes of elliptical, followed that on Tuesday with core, where I did... Um, crunches, I did plank, I did uh, sit-ups, and I did the ab coaster, uh, followed that with a day of cardio as well. And then on Thursday, I did just stretches. I had an issue with my back. Um, that's that Again, that's kind of in a nutshell, so uh, I won't get into all that, but um, I had an issue with my back, so I just did stretches that day, and I really took my time stretching, and it was really good. So that was that. Um, on Friday, this is the new year, and um, on Friday, I went ahead and weighed myself again, and I'm weighing in at 227.4, so I didn't lose or gain in those couple of days, which kind of makes sense because I'd make some good healthy choices, and then I ate a lot the night before, and uh, so... I'm kind of feel like I'm kind of lucky to be 
there, but at the same time, I kind of worked for it too. So it is what it is. Uh, Feliz Año Nuevo. That is Spanish for Happy New Year. And the reason why you see some of my days in Spanish is because I am currently taking Spanish at Lincoln Land, um, the college that I'm going to. So that's fun. Uh, anyway, um, moving on to Saturday, we've got arm day. There's a tricep extension, bicep curl, and seated row. Um, I would like to add more things to my um, core day, my arm day, and my leg day. But right now, um, I don't have the time, and there is a reason behind that, and hopefully I will get to that without forgetting. So uh, Sunday was my rest day, as you can see, and then Monday, I did leg day, uh, and Monday was today, so I did leg day. You see the word plates. That was from a previous recording because I would like to buy some smaller plates, and I went ahead and wrote it down. That way I wouldn't forget it, so uh, hopefully I won't, but that is that. And that was what I did last week. So I did, basically last week, I did everything that I wanted to do except for leg day, which is what I ended up doing today. So that was fun. And um, I aim to do this every week where I do alternate with cardio and weight stuff so that I can kind of like be sure to, you know, do the good things for my body and uh, continue to work and build muscle and everything so that I can get that sweet, sweet core body. Um, so that is my, basically my workout journal. And I write everything down in there that I'm doing. So there's that. Um, so that kind of leads me to go into one of the reasons why I have one of my goals this week, which is to get up at 4.30 a.m. every day and to be at the gym by 5.30 a.m. every day is because I want to make sure that I allot myself enough time to do all the things that I'd like to do within that time frame. Um, um, gives me about an hour and a half to do the things and... Um, it might sound like a lot more than I need, but um, I've been tracking kind of how I'm doing at the gym and I do tend to chat with people a little bit. There are some regulars that go there as well as myself. So I want to make sure that I give myself enough time to kind of chat with them. Um, also to, uh, you know, get myself unpacked and repacked up to spray down the equipment and everything, especially because of the COVID. Um, we are, it was already kind of, um, requested that the members make sure to wipe down the equipment whenever they're finished using them, but now it's more of a requirement. And I think it's also extremely courteous to do that as well, to not leave your butt sweat on the equipment when you're finished with it. So anyway, uh, I wanna make sure that I give myself plenty of times to do these things. So I am shooting for that full hour and a half at the gym. I would really like to get started with my routine at 5.30. So it would be super great if I can get there at like 5.25 gives me that full five minutes to get my stuff put away and um, get everything situated that I need to. So that brings me to my next goal for next week. Um, I got myself a new calendar and I need to fill it out. I've got friends with birthdays. I got family with birthdays or just birthdays all around. And then there are other important dates that need to go on this sucker. But anyway, I am a huge fan of puns and I just got this um, maybe a week ago. I just haven't had time to actually sit down and fill it out, but I'm super excited about it. I love puns. So um, getting into that, we'll go ahead. And uh, the first the first one is your one in a melon, which I think is super cute. It's the first four months of the year. And then the second one is for January. And I think this one's super cute. Dress to krill. So anyway, it's super cute. It's a whale. Whales eat krill. You get it. It's adorable. I love it. And it is for January. So again, one of my goals for this particular week is to get things in my calendar and get my calendar up on the wall. Um, another thing related to that is that I need a new planner. Um, I get a new planner every single year. Usually I get it before the new year rolls over, but this year has been kind of hectic since I've gone back to school and I had finals and I had papers doing all this other stuff. And then it was just mostly, honestly, all about resting over the uh, winter break. So this is my old planner for 2020 and it is pretty beat up and a little raggedy looking. It's got stuff stuck in there. That is because I use it and uh, I put all kinds of things in there. I put um, haircuts, I put... Uh, due dates for stuff, um, if I'm gonna go have dinner with a friend or something like that or hang out, I usually write those things down in my planner. Um, and I was also writing down uh, like what my weight was 
and the calorie intake for the day as well. So that was pretty cool. Also, um, this was what I was doing as far as recording my calories. I was writing everything down on these little sheets of paper and figuring up how many calories I ate every single day. Um, I had an envelope for each month that I did it and um, I kind of stopped doing that and I think that's part of the reason why uh, I've kind of stopped losing weight as well. I've kind of stopped working it off. But yeah. Um, Sorry, so, okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I need that new planner. That way I can start uh, keeping track of things and maybe um, be a little bit better about um, keeping up on it because this last couple of months, it was more about making sure that I met deadlines for my classes. And I went off of the uh, platform that my school uses to kind of record grades and talk about assignments and all that. So that's what I did and I didn't write things down nearly as much in my planner, but I'm looking forward to getting a new one and writing things in. So that'll be super awesome. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, for this week, um, I need, I, I've, I'm taking two classes. I'm going to school part-time and that can be a talk for another video. However, um, my schools, my classes start up next week. So I need to make sure that I get the book that I need for one of my new classes. I have the book that I need for one of them already because it's like a two year rental essentially online, but I also have a physical copy for myself that I bought. I'm a big fan of physical copies of books. That way I can highlight and make notes and stuff. But um, this class that I'm getting ready to take, this other class I'm getting ready to take is actually the third time I've had to take it. So um, I need that book. So again, you know, that'll be for another video and I need to order that book. And um, another fun goal that I have for this week is actually to clean my room. It is a disaster. Um, since the spring semester of 2020, I have been so busy that I basically go in my room to sleep. And unfortunately it has become a receptacle, if you will, of just stuff. So it's some of it's mail that I haven't gone through or haven't opened. Some of it's mail that I have opened. Some of it is um, souvenirs from like little mini trips that I've taken or bigger trips uh, from the year prior that I just haven't gone through and put away. Some of it's birthday gifts and um, Christmas gifts that I really thought were super fun and I just went ahead and put them in there with the intention of going through them and sorting them out and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, and also I've got clothing in my room that I just need to get um, hung up and put away. Some of them, they are hung up, they just need to be put in the closet. There's just a lot of junk in there that I need to go through and um, sort through, get rid of, put in the right place. And I kept telling myself that I'd do it later, but uh, later never came. This is Charlie Bain. She is super, super cute. She likes to purr and she's very affectionate. So she's being adorable and I had to pick her up. You know how it goes if you've got a cat. You just, you gotta pick them up sometimes. So anyway, um, those are my goals for this coming week. So again, I did pretty well with my goal for last week. I drank two of these nearly every single day. Um, the only day that I didn't was yesterday and I got one in. And then also for this week, I want to keep this up. I'm just going to continue to focus on just getting two in. I'm probably going to increase that the following week. And the other goals that I have this week is to uh, continue with the uh, working the weight off. I want to make sure that I get at least another pound off. I'm not going to ask too much of myself when it comes to that just to uh, keep it consistent and stay on track as far as that goes. Um, I also want to get up at 4.30 a.m. every day and get to that gym at 5.30 every day. Fill out my awesome new puns calendar that I love so much and um, get a new planner that I'm sure I will love so much once I get it and I'm able to fill it out. Get my book for school, clean my room, oh my God. And there will be video content on me cleaning my room. It's gonna be fantastic. So um, don't judge too hard. I know there are some of you out there that do the same thing that I do, so we're in the same boat. But anyway, so um, that being said, uh, one of the last things I would like to do in this video is challenge you to 
um, drink some water, drink some water. Or um, if there's something that you know that you want to work towards, whatever goals that you have set for this year, I would like for you to go ahead and get to work on them. Um, I highly recommend you taking them in small steps and working up from there. And that is uh, usually the easiest way to um, create a habit is to, you know, well, obviously do it persistently and consistently, but to take it in small steps at a time. That way it becomes part of your lifestyle. And so anyway, that is basically my challenge to you. My, I challenge you to drink some extra water. It doesn't have to be a ton. Just um, increase your water intake. And um, in so doing, you will decrease your soda intake or tea intake, whatever it is that you like to drink. If you're a coffee drinker like me, it'll decrease that as well. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to, to uh, comment on my video, or if you have anything that you'd like to say, any words of encouragement, any advice. Um, if you're a, if you're a hater and you want to hate on me, I welcome you. It's okay. Uh, you probably haven't said anything that I haven't heard already. And if it's a rare insult, that's fun. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, feel free to subscribe if you would like to, and, uh, click on the notifications bell. If you would like to get notifications of my updates. Um, again, I am really super pumped about getting this editing equipment software going so that I can give you some cooler videos and uh, that'll be coming soon. So again, happy new year and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.